Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. Last time we left off, we were uh, talked with Francisca and Ray about like kind of postponing a trial because we got to find the evidence. And we were speaking with Courtney like, you know, what the hell's going on? And we played some logic chess with her and we wanted to know more about what was happening between her and the president and like why she even spoke with him. But in the end, we found out that John has been kidnapped and... She's none other than John's mother. So, wasn't really expecting that, but uh, there you go. What? John is Miss Courtney's son? No way. I mean, he's already so big for him to be your... Yes, John is indeed my son. Please look at this. This is a clipping from a magazine. It's an article about John. Do you always carry this around carry this around with you? Yes, I always keep it close by. It's like a charm to me. Oh damn. Now I now like I feel super bad for Courtney. I feel bad like just because uh, I was being so rough on Sebastian and Josh Courtney, you know, very early early on in the game, but now, you know, last case, it's like you definitely feel bad for both of them. It's, it seems a bond that the bond that they share is a strong one. <sighs> However, are you absolutely certain that he's been kidnapped? Yes, I received a call from the kidnapper just before the trial started. And what were their demands? They had only one demand. A not guilty verdict for Patricia Rowland. I see. So that's what happened. Um... That's why she's a, she was acting like that. That makes sense. I mean, she wants to save her son. God, it's just like the the last case of the Justice for All. So that's why you were going for not guilty, or going going to deliver a not guilty verdict earlier. I am not qualified to be a judge. A judge must be must be, remain impartial and composed above all else. And yet. Despite this, in the trial just now, I... I was about to hand down a verdict that was led solely by my heart! Judge Courtney, the goddess of love must be furious of me at the right now. But I simply couldn't do it. I couldn't hand down a fair verdict if it meant I had to sacrifice my own son. Of course you can't! Okay. A real parent would never abandon their own child. If that makes the goddess of law angry, then maybe the goddess of the law is the, the goddess is the one who's wrong here. The goddess is guilty! Guilty! Isn't that right, Miss Redgeworth? Indeed. To declare God is guilty, huh. We're responsible for upholding the law, but at the same time, we are only human. Nobody would hand down a verdict that would sacrifice their own child. Thank you very much, Miss Faraday, Prosecutor Edgeworth. However, I cannot simply run away from the courtroom. Judge Courtney, so this is where you've been. It appears it's time. Miss Courtney! My father, he was a prosecutor. Your father? Yes, he stood in court just like you. And now, with all, that was, with all that's happened, it got me thinking. What if my father had been in the same position as you are right now? If a prosecutor was being coerced into obtaining a guilty verdict? I know. If my life were on the line, my father, he would definitely come to steal me back. Steal you back? Miss Courtney, why don't you let us take care of it? What? I'm gonna go steal John back for you. As a second Yadagarasu, I, K. Faraday, give you my word. Huh. <laughs> so the great thief Yadagarasu plans to steal the truth, huh? What say you, Judge Courtney? Will you place your trust in, your, in our young, uh, great thief? Thief? <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth. And if it's alright with you, I wish to help as well. Thank you very much. I know it's really not my place to ask this of you, but please, do whatever you can. Please save you, John. You got it! Just leave everything to us. Allow me to leave my cell phone with you. 
You may get a call from the kidnapper at some point. You have my word. I will ensure the safe return of your phone, along with your son. And I will do everything in my power to prolong the trial. But, even then, at most the trial can only last for, for about two more hours. Two hours, huh? So until 2 p.m. That's our time frame. I must return to court, Miss Faraday, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I shall leave the rest to you. <laughs> okay, I thought you were taking a break from being a great thief. As of right now, the great thief Yagarasu is back in business! Alright, time to put on the gloves and hit the pavement. It's my first request, after all. Is that so? In that case, we better begin our investigation post-haste. If we have hope to track down John. Seriously, where did it, I mean, yeah, not say he ran off, but where, I mean, how was he taken? He was right there and... Oh, man. We should probably begin our investigation from the front of the Grand Tower. Hey, hold it, Mr. Edgeworth. You're not the one in charge anymore. From here on out, this is, this, uh, this is a job for the Great Thief, which means I'm the leader now. If that's the case, then what am I supposed to do? Mr. Edgeworth, you get to be, well, the first ever Great Thief's assistant. So, I'm a Thief's assistant now. Alright, let's get going. The Great Thief Yadagarasu takes flight once again. Alright, she's happy about it. <laughs> you know, the sort of thing about it, because we saw John um, the very first time, I guess, was the third episode where he was looking at the Winter Palace or whatever, and he mentioned, like, something about her. So I guess now, yeah, definitely he was talking about, um, Courtney. And I, even, and even him knowing about, like, you know, prosecutors and prosecutor's badge and all that, I guess that explains it. Here we are, the scene of crime. Let's get to work. Now say it with me, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm? Say what? Even in the depths of night... <sighs> oh, come on! Say the rest of me! And just why should I do that? Because! The Great Thief Yagarasu has arrived on the scene. If we don't say the introduction, it just doesn't feel right. I have no intention of becoming a thief. Ah! Fine then, I'll do it by myself. Even in the depths of night... With no other bird dares to take flight. One alone soars to shine the light of righteousness on the world's blight. And that one is me, for I am the great thief Yadagarasu. <sighs> yes, Kay, I know you are. I, on the other hand, am, start am, am starting the investigation. Mwah. You're no fun. We don't have time for fun. We only have two we only have until two o'clock. We need to begin making inquiries immediately. Good thing we have a photo so we can get go right ahead and start asking around. Alright. So, let's just take a look around here, see what we got. Um, oh my god, I think I know who it is, and... Yep, it has to be who it, who it is. Let's see what else we can just take a look at real quick. Alright. First off, this dude. It has to be who it is, who I, who I think it is. Oh, it most definitely it is. A long time no see, Mr. Edgeworth. You're... Huh. This is Will Powers. He's an action star I met in a previous case. He also portrayed a sort of role of the Steel Samurai, warrior of New Old Tokyo. It's been a long time. Pleased to meet you. I'm Kay Faraday, a great thief. Some, some stuff has happened, so now Mr. Edgeworth is my assistant. Well, nice to meet you, but a thief? Mr. Edgeworth is, is your assistant? Uh, please pay no heed. More importantly, I'd like to ask you some questions about the case. Okay, uh, I don't know if I, I'll be much help, though. Hmm, he's an actor who has been working with John. It may be a bit sudden, but let's hear what he has to say. Good old Will Powers. I'd heard of that, that you were handling the investigation for this case, but... Hmm? Well, that's, uh... I'm not the prosecutor in charge, though. Well, if you're the assistant, then doesn't that mean that Kay's in charge? No, this is just a simple mis- You've got a good eye on you! You've complete- you're completely right! She jumped at the chance. Since I'm in charge here, I'd like you to like answer a few questions post-haste, and please be frank. Did, did anything happen to catch your eye? Ergo, didn't you notice anything? 
Who is she trying to imitate? Mm. Be frank, huh? Well, I feel sorry for the victim, but I can't help but worry about who will happen with the filming from now on. No, that's only natural. Still, I would think that filming would be difficult now. I knew it. This is bad. We can only use the location for a little while longer, too. Is the filming almost complete, then? Well, no, but construction will begin here soon, and so we won't be able to film here anymore. We're only using this vacant lot until construction begins. So the rest of the movie will be filmed at Global Studios. Things are looking good. Things the, uh, there's even some people spreading bad rumors. Bad rumors? Lately, our journalist has been keep, uh, coming up repeatedly saying, This film's a lot of hiding... This film's a lot... This film... Uh, this film wants hiding a real monster, I reckon. There ain't no use hiding it. And stuff like that. I have a feeling I know who you're talking about. Yeah. It was that folk, from, a photographer from, from before. You're not actually hiding a real monster, are you? Of course not! If there really was one, I'd be out of a job. Okay. Oh, let's see here. It seems you're, they're putting a lot of work into this movie. Oh, that's because this is our first attempt at making a sequel to an old classic. Global Studios is pouring their heart and soul into this one. I wish they put that much effort into making a new Steel Samurai series. What role are you playing this time, Mr. Powers? I'm playing the Mighty Muzilla. Wow, you're the main character! Well, much obliged. I'm wearing a full body costume again, so my face won't be seen this time either. I see. That costume sure is cool, though. I want to try wearing it, too. I know. How about next time you let me get into the costume? Maybe just the horn part. Well, that's not really possible. You can't get inside the horns. Well, I guess that makes sense. I'm not in the, I'm not in the Screen Actors Guild, after all. Okay, I don't think that's what he means. Oh boy. I'd like to ask you some questions about John. About John? Oh, I heard about it from the girl on staff. How he suddenly vanished from right in front of you guys. Well, that's just like him. Does he do that a lot? I'd say so. During filming breaks, if you even took your eyes off him for a moment, he'd be gone. He'd be gone. Do you have any idea as to where he might have gone? I don't know, but... I ran into him as he was leaving a film lot. What? Really? Where did John go? I saw him get in the trailer, but... When I was checking the uh, equipment, he was gone again. The trailer? Huh. There might still be some traces of him left behind. Mr. Powers, could you show us the trailer? Sure thing. It's a bit of a mess right now, though. Let's take him up on his offer and examine the inside of the trailer. Okay. I do it automatically, or... Oh, wait, I think it moves out of the way for us to get... Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, but first, let's check out other stuff here. What the hell is this? It appears to be a map of the area around the Grand Tower. Let's take a look. Hmm. Wait, we don't have any logic, do we? Oh, we saw the three footprints. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't get... Uh, let's hope it doesn't trip me up like it did last time I had logic. Oh, uh, okay, so there's stuff here we can examine. This is the Grand Tower. It's where we are right now. It's a nice building, but I can't say I'm a fan. I can't blame her. It wouldn't be strange if she never wanted to set foot in the tower again. But Mr. Edgeworth, once we discover the truth and complete, so, uh, completely solve this case, can we come here again just to sightsee? And we can bring Gummy along with us too. Not for letting the past hold you back, and always looking forward. That's just like you. Unfortunately, Kay, we aren't quite finished here yet. There's so much left to solve. It's too early to be making plans for the future. Hmm, I guess so. Well then, let's hurry up and solve it. Alright, makes sense. You know, the streets, Twilight Station... Oh, crap, I gotta sneeze. Excuse me. Ah, uh, Dusk of Waste Management. Dusk Waste Management. Did they help with man to manage your wasteful spending? No, this is where the garbage trucks bring all the combustible waste that they've collected. By the way, Kay, why are you so fidgety? It's nothing. More importantly, there's another waste center at the top right of the map. Uh, since they're separate facilities, they probably handle different kinds of waste. Although, that there does seem to be a lot of waste management facilities around here. Oh, 
Oh, I think I know why. Abbott, they're always collecting garbage from dusk till dawn. Were you so fidgety because you were waiting for a chance to say that? Oh, well, yeah, dusk and waste management, dawn waste management. Pretty cool. Uh, Rising Sun Park. I never really cared much for that sort of thing. I heard that ultraviolet rays from the sun can cause burn marks on your skin. Hey, what in the world are you talking about? Come on, I'm talking about the Rising Sun Park, of course. I like to bask in that sentiment. I uh, watch the sun rise in the park. Oh, Sunshine Coliseum, we, uh... This is where uh, we went here for, um... Apollo Justice, right? Yeah, that's where the concert took place and everything, yeah. The Sunshine Coliseum. It's a place where all sorts of special events are held. I've always wanted to go to the World the World Thief Expo, but it was cancelled this year. I heard that it's a huge event where all the greatest thieves from all around the world gather. But last year, everyone who went got arrested. Turns out it was just a trap set up by the police to catch the thieves. And even knowing that, you still want to go? <sighs> wow, okay. Uh... Okay, let's check these out. Hmm. It seems that the harbor and the waste center are close by, close to each other. Maybe that's where they dispose of all the garbage that comes floating in from the ocean. Perhaps they do, but I'm sure they also deal with other types of waste as well. Other types of waste? Oh, you don't mean shells and fish bones, do you? You can't just throw away the fish and shells you catch from the sea like garbage. You gotta re recycle them, make them into jewelry and stuff. Okay, let's talk about this matter some other time. Is there nothing else really here I can take a look at? I guess not. Hmm. What else we got here? Pieces of film equipment have been placed here. Are you filming today? No, we had to stop filming for today uh, since a box has disappeared. A box? What is he talking about? Yeah, there's some there's some equipment in that box. I take my oh, take my eyes for a. I'm taking my eyes for it for a few seconds, and I look what happens. So there's a thief among us. Exactly what was stolen. Oh, well, nothing much, actually. Just the box is, uh, is missing. Just a stolen box. Okay. Why would someone steal a box? Personally, I would have got taken the stuff inside. They probably you'd want the box more than whatever was inside it. Do they plan to put something inside the box? Okay. Let's check out. This is a trailer, I guess. I bought John's seat. Ah, it's over there, where that backpack is sitting. Hmm? Something's sticking out of the bag. This is... a tape? Huh? It's a tape for filming. Why does John have one? Did he film something? This might be a clue. Is there any way to check its contents? We have a monitor to look over the footage that was filmed. We can use that. Now then, let's see what's on the tape. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is... It looks like when John was practicing. John was practicing by himself. The monster's footprints can be seen as well. So this must have been recorded last night. Well, uh, he does that sometimes. When he's not happy with his performance, he'll sneak onto the set to practice by himself. Wow, he really is hardworking. Sure is. Although he's young, he's a real pro. He never rests until he's satisfied. Then again, I can't say that I approve of him using equipment without asking. John's able to operate equipment all by himself? More or less, if it's just a basic filming. Huh? What's wrong? Why isn't John on the screen anymore? I think he ran off somewhere just a few seconds before this. Did he go somewhere while the camera was still recording? The tape ends here. It looks like this was all that was all that was recorded. No one else was on camera except for John. Hmm. Was that it? Let's check. Actually, I want to see something real quick. Well, that's not what I want to say. I just, I just want to see Tim's uh, present on passive. Okay, this. 
trying to see if there's like any difference between the two, but I don't see anything. I don't see anything at all. Whoa! Mm. Nope, I do see something. Top left. There's, um... We know that the statue, or whatever, the costume from Muzola is right there, but there seems to be a large slash in the back of it there. But I was also looking at that box or whatever is right next to it. I don't... I can't even... I can't even read what the hell it even says. I don't even know what the hell it is. I don't know if that means anything, but... There's really no, no difference between the two besides him being there, not him, then being there. So, okay. Alright then, guys. Um, I will say that, you know, we're... Yeah, I'll go, I'll go ahead and call the episode right here. Because I, I have no idea how much more we have to investigate here, but... uh, So, uh, yeah, the next episode we'll go ahead and continue with the investigation and uh, see what else we can find. So... As usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for a Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. I'll see you guys later.